everyone, this is Maritime Academy YouTube channel and in this video also we will continue to annex one regulations with regulation 29 which is talking about slope tanks arrangements and it's telling that all oil tankers with uh, more than 150 tons GRT they shall be provided with slope tanks and uh, this slope tanks arrangements shall be in accordance with regulation 29 paragraphs 2.1 and 2.3 and uh, before I start talking about paragraph 2.1 uh, let me I remind you that when we were talking about regulation 3 of annex 1 paragraph 4 so I'm keeping the link also here you can have a look at that time I told you that administration may waive uh, the requirements of um, regulation 29, 31 and 32 for the oil tankers which are which they are trading in the near coastal regions means the regions with, le with distance less than 50 nautical miles miles from nearest land and uh, also with duration of the passages duration of the voyages um, less than 72 hours uh, means three days less than three days so these type of tankers which are trading in the near coastal regions and duration of their passage is, uh, is less than uh, three days 72 hours maybe if they can get if they can get the approval from the administration so they no need to comply with the requirements of this regulation 29 and also 31 and 32 just this one keep in your mind because it is important so now let's talk about uh, the first requirement of the slope tanks as per requirement of regulation 29 which is uh, uh, paragraph 2.1 in paragraph 2.1 regulation 29 trying to tell us that adequate means shall be provided on board for transferring the cargo residues cargo washings dirty ballast from the cargo tanks to slope tanks and this means shall be approved this is the most important part of this part of this regulation and it shall be approved by the administration it's not only talking about co-manual crude oil washing manual it's talking for any type of procedures and manual that shall be on board uh, which specifically it's talking about the procedures for tank washing or tank washings of that tanker and definitely any type of the tanker we have this manual on board and this manual shall be uh, approved by the administration or the recognized organization approved by the administration means uh, usually classification society most of the time then it's telling that this system this system means tank washing system which is included with tank washing pump uh, tank washing lines it is talking about circulate different circulation systems and the procedures for running this system it's telling that in this system also shall exist such kind of equipment the same as ODME oil discharge monitoring system or such kind of similar systems that in case of the discharge of any cargo residues here is not telling cargo residues here using another word it's telling that effluent effluent in case of discharging any effluent means cargo residues means um, the washed water of the washed tanks uh, into the water the content of this uh, oil, oil uh, the content of oil in this oil mixture shall comply with the regulation 34 of this annex in regulation 34 of this annex which we will talk about that in later it's talking about the control of discharge of oil into the water and it's talking about, specifically it's talking about the discharge of oil into the water in a special area outside of a special area in an antarctic region and some more details it's telling that in any case 
for discharge of this oil uh, um, oil residues into the water, the um, the content of oil in this oil mixture shall not be more than one thirty thousand ppm. So anyway, just forget about regulation thirty four now, just now. Just remember that as for the re as for the requirement of regulation thirty. Uh, regulation 29 sorry of this uh, annex it's telling that that the tank washing system provided on board okay shall be in accordance with regulation 34 in case of discharge of any cargo residues any affluent what's telling here what is telling here to the sea so it was uh, it was the first requirement of uh, this uh, regulation for uh, slope tanks. It was paragraph 2.1 and 2.2. So now let's talk about paragraph 2.3, which is the second requirement for uh, slope tanks. The paragraph 2.3 of this regulation is talking about minimum capacity of the slope tanks. And it's telling that the minimum capacity of the slope tanks of the ship shall not be less than 3% of total capacity, cargo capacity of the ship. And also in the same paragraph, we are having another three sub-paragraphs, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, which there are exceptions uh, related to this uh, part of regulation 2.29. Uh, and they are telling that these 3%, which I told you now, uh, it can be reduced to 2%, it can be reduced to 1.5%, it can be reduced to 1%, and even it can be reduced to 0.8%. So how? First talk about 2%. Okay, uh, it's telling that this 3% can be reduced to 2% if the cargo, wa the tank washing, uh, tank washing arrangement of the ship are made in such a way that the water which we are taking inside the uh, slope tanks for the purpose of the washing the tanks it is enough it is enough for total tank washing operation of the ship and also this is the important part and also is enough for providing uh, driving fluid for adductors without inserting the initial additional waters uh, to the system In some other part, it's telling that this 3% uh, can be reduced to 2%, again, if this oil tanker, which we are talking about that, shall having the uh, segregated ballast tank, shall having the clean ballast tank, but anyway, these ballast tanks, even it is SPT or CBT, both of them are complying with regulation 18 of Annex 1 which we talked about this regulation completely. I'm, keep, I'm trying to keep the link here. Just have a look. And also, if they are fitted with crude oil washing instrument, crude oil washing system, this crude oil washing is complying with, with regulation 3 of Annex 1. So, if any tanker Fulfilling with uh, regulation 18 for ballast tanks, fulfilling with regulation 3 for uh, crude oil washing system. Okay, these type of tankers, they can reduce the capacity of slope tanks from 3% of total cargo capacity of the ship to 2%. Also, it's telling that in this case, these 2% can be reduced to one and a half percent also. How? If, same as previous subparagraph, if the tank washing system is made in such a way that the water which we are taking inside the slope tanks for purpose of the cargo wash, cargo washing, uh, tank washing, cargo tank washing, it is enough for whole operation of the cargo tank washing operation and also is enough for giving uh, sufficient driving fluid to adductors without adding additional water to the system. 
the last part of this uh, uh, paragraph 2.3 which is paragraph 2.33 it's telling that this three percent can be reduced to one percent even so in which case in the case of the combination carriers we talked about the combination carriers definition in definition uh, in regulation one of annex one have a look to that in regulation one of annex one we gave definition for gas carrier for chemical tanker oil tanker crude oil tanker product tanker combination carriers just have a look so it's telling that in the case of the combination carriers this three percent capacity of the slope tanks can be reduced to one percent even if the oil which is carrying inside of these combination carriers is carrying in the tanks which having a smooth walls means they have chambering system the main tank is inside same like a such kind of uh, vessel same like a gas carriers bitumen tankers like that that there is a chamber system the main part of the tank is inside and outside is bounded by smooth walls I'm keeping one photo for you just have a look at that photo I think that is enough you can understand much what I want to tell you so in case in the case of the combination carriers carriers which they are carrying the oil inside of the tanks which having the smooth wall this type of tankers also can reduce the uh, slope tanks capacity less to one person also it's telling that the same type of carriers the same type of carriers they can reduce even from one percent even less to 0.8 percent if if the same combination carriers with that type of the tanks they are having the tank washing system in such a way the water which you are taking inside the inside the slope tanks is enough for the whole operation of the tank washing for whole tank washing operation of the ship and also is enough for giving uh, for providing enough driving fluid to a doctors a doctors without adding additional water to the system it was whole paragraph 2.3 of regulation 29 which it was the second requirement for slope tanks also at the end of this regulation uh, have another two small part which they are telling that uh, the tank uh, the tank washing arrangement of oil tankers shall be in such a way the design it's talking about the design the design shall be in such a way uh, means inlets outlets leveling pipes pumping system and uh, valves shall be in such a way that avoid from giving extra turbulence of uh, cargo residues inside the tanks to avoid uh, emulsion of oil with water so this is also talking about design and the last part of this uh, regulation the paragraph 3 it's telling that the oil tankers with more than 70,000 tons dead weight and mold they shall have at least two slope tanks uh, also it's telling that this type of tankers shall be delivered uh, on or after 31st December 1979 which I think no need to tell because already all of them which there exist they are already delivered after this date for sure okay that is uh, that was the last part of regulation 29 so in regulation 29 in brief I want to tell you we were talking the, about the slope tanks requirements and I told you that any vessel any oil tanker with more than 150 tons GRT shall comply uh, with the requirement of this regulation for having a slope tanks on board okay thank you again for watching me and uh, 
in the next week we will talk about regulation 30 of annex 1Okay, we finished with regulation 29 of annex 1, which in brief I can tell you it was talking about a slope tank's requirements and it was telling that all oil tankers more than 150 tons G GRT, uh, they shall be provided with the slope tanks and um, these slope tanks, these slope tanks shall comply with the requirement of this regulation means regulation 29 especially paragraph 2.1 and paragraph 2.3 okay so that is finished for uh, this video uh, thank you again for watching me and uh, wish to see you again in the next week thank you bye bye